What's up guys, and I'm going to be giving you a review on the Parix AX3000 um, headset, 7.1 stereo surround sound headset, so let's get started. Uh, so I've been using these headphones for about uh, a couple weeks, two or three weeks, something like that, and I really like them, and before I've been using the Logitech Clear Chat headset, um, you'll see a footage of it right now. Uh, it wasn't the greatest headset, really had no, like, comfortability or really any support. Uh, it's just a basic wireless headset. So the design of the headphones are really nice. There's pros and cons to the design, which I'll talk about in a second. On the exterior, I have hard plastic with the Parix logo glowing, uh, glowing red. And I thought that was a pretty nice touch, considering the price point of these headphones. Um, I think it's $29.99 on Amazon right now. You can go ahead and buy them, no affiliate link uh, in the description for Amazon. But, anyway... Uh, hard plastic, lights up, I thought that was a nice touch, it really, um, really is nice for the price point. Everything's padded around it, so you'll get the, around the ear you'll get padding, and then on the top where it goes on your head you'll get padding. And obviously the arms extend for a different size if you have a bigger head than other people, or a smaller head. Then you have the braided 6 foot USB cable, and I thought that was really nice that they braid it like that, because it's actually a pretty nice feature. Also on that cable, you'll find a little controller for the volume, uh, so you can go ahead and control the volume on your computer for that. Um, and I think you can, yeah, you can mute the microphone that's on there, which is kind of confusing because when the microphone is red, that means it's on. Before, when the microphone lit up red, that means that it was muted. So I had to get used to that. But um, when the uh, light is not glowing red, that means it's muted. Also, fold up really nicely to help get into my drawer of cables. Now for the pros and cons. For pros, I mean, it's really simple. The design is nice, it looks good, it's simple, and I really can't say anything other than it's good. Now the cons, um, I was consistently kind of adjusting the position of it. It kind of hurt a little, I don't know if my ears are big or whatever, but they, uh, I mean, it was a little bit uncomfortable. I had to move it up a little bit. Um, those are just a minor complaint. I kind of fixed my way around that. Also, they kind of creak a lot when you move them or just kind of kick them out of their position. Um, that they go back into when you want to put them away. Um, just the doing that, just doing simple, just moving them, they creak, and it's kind of annoying. I know it's not, you know, for $30, what do you expect? Um, you don't get premium quality, you get, you know, creaking. It's okay. I mean, this, it sounds good, though. I'll get to that a little bit later. Since I can't really tell you about specs, I'm just going to tell you that these are 7.1 surround sound headsets. Uh, and I actually looked at, there's this YouTube video where you can test like 7.1. It sounds pretty good. I mean, you can kind of hear around uh, where it is. And what I did is once you install the little CD that they give you, I, there's an equalizer. And I used that. That really helps. I mean, I went into like Windows settings. It was it helped a little bit. But that equalizer really helps it. Um, I noticed that the mids were kind of just drowned out. So I, I kind of played around with the equalizer settings. And you can see what I did here. Um... It made it sound a lot better, and equalizers are really, uh, really a good tool, especially the one that they give you. I know it's just Windows, I think it's Windows' the standard one, um, but it actually worked pretty good for these little headphones. Now, a couple of weeks ago when I actually wrote this review, I actually said that um, last weekend it was free, Advanced Warfare was free on Steam. Um, so a couple of weeks ago, Advanced Warfare was free on Steam, and uh, I got a chance to play that play with the headphones, and I can see why people use gaming headsets now, because it's actually really good. You can hear the bolts whizzing by, you can hear, just, you get more um, immersiveness, if that's a word. Uh, you get more uh, in-depth. Um, I still prefer speakers, just because um, I can hear everything around me, I don't feel like I'm just constantly locked into, uh, you know, gaming. It's not my type of thing to do, but um, for headphones, if I want to play at night and not bother anyone, yeah, they're really good. And the microphone's stereotypical for a kind of cheaper headset, or just a headset in general. Um, it sounds okay. It doesn't sound too bad. It doesn't sound too good either. It's, it kind of sounds nasally, so yeah, it's something to keep in mind. Alright, so this is just a sound test on the... Um, right now I'm using my Blue Snowball. It's about, I don't know, less than a foot away from me. Um, and uh, just to let you know, this is a comparison. Uh, that's the snowball, and then I'm going to move to the Parix. So this is from the Parix. Uh, it's about four inches away from my face. It's kind of angled out, so it's not um, like right in front of my mouth where you would need uh, within a microphone a pop filter. Um, so hopefully it's not too like 
you know. Um, but if you would curve it, this is what it sounds like. It's pretty bad, um, especially with those pops. Um, so you have to kind of angle it out um, for it to sound moderately okay, um, especially just for video calls. And um, just a curiosity, this is really close. So this is just like less than an inch away from me. So you probably don't want it to be this low or uh, this close to your face. Uh, so yeah, this is just a, a test of the microphone. There's also this hum that you hear too when the microphone's on and being utilized, I think. Um, that's the key too when the microphone's being used. You can hear this like hum and you can also hear it in a recording too. It's kind of, I don't know why, but you can hear it. The final verdict is I like them and they're a great update for my clear chat headphones and special thanks to Purex for setting them out. Um, yeah, so they're really good headphones. I like them. I won't be using the microphone on them just because I have the snowball and everything. And the headphones work great. They sound good. I can listen to music on them at night. Yeah, that's what I use headphones. That's what I use a headset for. Um, but other than that, there's really nothing else to really talk about. They're good. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. What's going on YouTube? And in this video, I'm going to be giving you a review on the Bose SoundLink Color. Uh, it's a portable Bluetooth speaker, so let's get started.